If you are looking to use Meta's Llama 3 model for Retrieval Augmented Generation or RAG, then this video will help you as I am going to show you how you can configure and implement locally the RAG with your own custom documents. If you don't know what Llama 3 is, it is one of the most performant open source model just released last week by Meta and it has already surpassed lot of other models and the quality of this model is really supreme. I have done heaps of videos around it so please search my channel and you should be able to have satisfactory sort of volume of information you need for Llama 3. But for this video, let's see how we can implement RAG. Let me take you to my local system where I am running Ubuntu 22.04. I have one GPU card of 16 GB VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. Let me clear my screen. First, let's install the Transformers library. That is done almost. And now let's install few of the other prerequisites. Let me clear the screen. Now, in this one, you can see that I am installing Accelerate. I am installing INOPS for Tensor and Code Readability. And I am using Llama Index and Embeddings. So let me install them. Let's wait for it to finish. That is done. Let me clear my screen. Let me launch my Python interpreter. Now, what I will be doing here that I will be using that Llama 3 model with my own PDF file. Let me quickly show you that PDF file. This is a PDF file where I have just given a paragraph about myself. So what will happen is that we will use this document to chat with this Llama 3. Now, what happens in RAG is, RAG is a technique through which you can provide external information to an LLM which LLM is not aware of. For example, Lama 3 doesn't know about Fahad Mirza. So that is why I am providing it this external information through RAG so that when I will ask LLM that who is Fahad Mirza, LLM would be able to tell me. You can use any of your personal documents or company's document in order to do RAG with any LLM. By using this video but for this one we will be using um, llama 3 and don't worry about the command which i'm using i'll put them in my blog and i'll drop the link in videos description now just a quick one on ragging or rag what happens in drag is that this document this pdf will be first chunked or which it what it means is it will be divided into different sections or chunks because uh, it makes it easy for in order to convert it into numerical representation which is also called as vector or embedding and then that embedding or vector is stored into a vector store and then we create an index on it and whenever someone queries then our rag pipeline searches a similar uh, semantically uh, vectors and then return it and then that vector or embedding is augmented with the prompt so that LLM will give us more informed answer on the basis of our own data. So that is what we are doing here. Okay, so let's go back to our terminal and let's import some of the stuff which we are talking about. So I'm just first importing logging and sys because I'm doing this in real time. So if there are any errors, which we'll we'll be able to see what exactly is happening, and we'll be able to fix it. So let's do it. Let's also import some of the stuff from Llama index so that we could load our document, we could index them and then we can use them. Let's load our document, the document which I just showed you. It is also on my local system. So I am loading it with a simple directory reader from Llama index and then simply import the fast embedding through which we are going to convert that document into numerical representation or embeddings for that we'll be using this model bge small which is quite common very very lightweight and performant model and that is going to convert our text into embeddings let's also set our embedding model and the chunk size i'm going to set it 512 let's set our prompt template you can use any prompt template of your choice or whatever is required by your model i'm going to go with the usual stuff let's also specify a user and assistant because earlier we have specified the system prompt and we needed that assistant and user we also 
because it's a gated model which means that we need a permission to access it so we need to log into hugging face and for that you would need this token now let me quickly show you how you can obtain that token let's go to hugging face website from there just click on this top right and once you click on this top right go to settings access tokens on the left and these are the tokens if you don't have it just click on new token and create one that is what i am using here and i will rotate it after this video so don't bother about copying it let's import our pytorch that is done and now let's get our model and tokenizer for llama 3 I'll be using this and it is going to take some time here because I already have downloaded it so it is just going to load short but for you it is it is going to take a bit of a time so just bear with it that is done let's set the LLM and now let's create an index on top of our vectors within the vector store so that it will be quicker to query let's initialize our query engine from llama index and let's define a very small function for the inference where we'll just passing the input and in order to create a gui on top of that let's use gradio and let me run it locally on my port 7860 so let's run it and let's wait and you can see that now it is running on my local system on this public ip at 7860 so if you go to your browser and try to access it you will be presented with this screen it is loading it is loaded and now you can chat with it you can ask it who is Fahad Mirza and then it is going to take a bit of a time and return you an answer and that is from my own document which I just showed you how good is that so this is how you can implement RAG on your own local document custom document by using this uh, llama 3 model and not only you have implemented the rag but you have also created a graphical user interface on top of it by using gradio the good thing about gradio is that it is very performant very lightweight and quite customizable you can put a lot of things of your own but for this vanilla demo i'm just going to go with the default so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it i will drop all of this code in my blog and i'll put the link to that in my video's description feel free to use it wherever you like and of course if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching